Appreciate you, man of God. Listen, <laughs> what's up, y'all? <laughs> this is this is uh, in, in the, the pocket. pocket. We about to go out of pocket in the pocket podcast. Uh, we got a special one for you today. We got my guy Larry, center couch, center mass. That's a cop reference, by the way. Uh, and we got Josh drum class over there uh, to the left. We about to get into some stuff that I, I think is uh, important and funny, but I want to start off by uh, y'all getting to know who these gentlemen are. You don't need to know me. I felt you in your spirit. Like, who is me? Don't worry about it. All right. Uh, He's just a host. We just having a we'll conversation. We'll have a new host next Rain. time. <laughs> <laughs> he said we'll have a new host. Rain, Rain Listen, I, 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 I am a musician. I play keys. These two are really great drummers, and we're going to get different perspectives. Now, I may be biased on certain things, but that's why we got this in the pocket podcast. Uh, but first, let's find out who these guys are. Let them tell you a little bit about themselves. Let's we'll start out with Larry. Uh, <laughs> man, that feels like a whole integration. But <laughs> Larry Belton, drummer. He from, told a uh, lot about himself right there. <laughs> <laughs> from California, Sacramento, California, uh, a musician, drummer, uh, moving into other things, but drummer first. What else? Oh, we on you. Oh, okay. Joshua Crawford, YouTuber, drummer, um, from born in Georgia, moved to uh, Illinois, five years back to Georgia. I don't know why, how that happened. Then to New York, back to uh, to to New Jersey, and then back here. So we just all over the place. Did I say drummer? Yeah, he, he drummer. did. And we we triple it, so same story. Except I don't play drums. All right. So in the pocket, um, place where we go out of pocket sometimes, right? Uh, I want to start off by this question get your perspective what is pocket we finna be here all night on we'll take your time man what oh, is, oh look what real is... quick i'll give the quick answer and then we'll go deeper into it the pocket for everybody confused this is the quickest answer all right in this case the pocket is whatever the artist is requiring you to do whatever they want that's what you do that's the pocket that's the short answer Anybody got any disagreement to that? Because we can dive deeper once we get that out. That's, that's the actual answer, the best answer. <laughs> Anybody that disagrees with that will be crazy about it. But yeah, whatever the artist wants is the actual pocket. I'm going to play devil's advocate. Oh. You don't have to, because hey, we going, <laughs> I'm, we, we well, move from the simple. I mean, I, I get it. Sometimes the artists don't know what they want. Right, that's the next part. So, so, so what is pocket? Especially if you ain't the producer. So, all right, let's dive into this. Take your time. Get That's a good it. question. All right. So, this right now, for, for the example, we're going to leave out, we're going to just strictly talk about drums because for now, Definitely. then we'll move to keys and stuff. But um, what I see is a, it's a trend when it comes to pocket. Um, the first thing that people do immediately, they use it as a, as a hating phrase. So if they see somebody doing something either that they can't do or they doing um, well-placed chops, the first comment, you know, I wish he was more in the pocket. That's like the number one thing. And for example, also when you see three drummers, one of them can chop real good. The other one can chop, got timing, placement. The other one can only play a locked groove. The lot groove one is going to say, you know, I can't really do all that stuff, but I'm a pocket drummer. <laughs> now, the... Yeah, my bad. Go ahead. What, okay, so one of the most tight uh, albums, like locked-in albums, correct me if I'm wrong, Marvin Sap Thirsty. We're talking gospel music right yeah. now there. Right now, okay. we're talking gospel Okay, music. yeah. Because pop and all of that, you are literally doing what the artist wanted. You like they you they give you a beat up front. You learn that you got the pads, you got the click track, you mm -hmm. locked in. I mean, we talking about gospel. Marvin Sapp's Thirsty album. 
Calvin was locked in, yes or no? Oh, that dude was super locked. Nobody going to say he wasn't and then getting fired from the gospel community. <laughs> so He's not going to do that. Um, but, yeah, he was locked. Okay, he so here's an example on where this pocket, because possess the land starts off with a pair of diddle diddle. You speak Literally. You speak in another language to me. It's a rudiment. Definitely a rudiment. Okay. Chops. Okay. Right? I don't have, you, Churchy, you need interpretation with some of these drummers. <laughs> Paradiddle diddle sound like heavenly language at the time. <laughs> but I get you, so it's a rudiment. Yep. Uh, possess the land. I hear it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So That's definitely out of pocket at some churches. But it made it a <laughs> It's definitely... It did it make the it album. album. It made the album. That's true. So, like, well, I guess the best way Hold to up. phrase it. Hold up. You got a lot to say. I and do. I know this no, is no, a yeah, trigger subject. I, 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 no, you know, go, go ahead, ahead and ahead. answer it. I, I'll get to mine in a minute. Okay. All right. Well, hey. I guess the best way we to phrase We can do episodes. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> 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 okay. I'll, 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 I'll tag team at, with this statement. I guess the best way to, to define pocket, another P word, placement, right? Yep. This this is just me being devil's advocate when it comes to arguing about pocket. When people say chops, you shouldn't chops like that's not pocket. You can't add chops, right? But let's right. say we locked in, right? And then we end in the song, and you're just doing crescendo on the on the cymbals. Is that not a single stroke row? Single stroke row. It Rudiment. makes sense. Rudiment. Okay. Placement is the biggest thing. It's the biggest thing. Like it's it's overlooked because they confuse chops with placement. Well, let me. I, I'm a, I want to hear Larry's point of view. Go ahead. And then ahead. after I'm warning you, I'm throwing y'all a curveball. Go ahead. Can't, but go can't. ahead. But I mean, I get it. All right. So take the jazz, the jazz industry, right? Most people that say pocket don't even understand the jazz industry. Now, if you dive, and I get it. Everybody goes into the, the you know gospel world of it most because we have the most freedom with them playing what we want to play but in jazz if you really study jazz that freedom is all throughout jazz and True. if you actually study jazz drummers jazz musicians you'll hear a lot of chops in everybody's playing not just the drummers uh one of the things i learned about tony williams was the way he started his solo was always listening to miles the last phrase that Miles would play is how he started his solo. So every night, however Miles ended his solo, that was the beginning of Tony's. And throughout every song in jazz, there's freedom, and some of it, some of it uh, can fluctuate off of what they're playing each night. And even though it's, can't, you know, it might be sound crazy to some people in some genres, that in that moment is that feel, and that's the pocket in that actual genre. So would you say that's not the curveball? Uh, so you ready for that curveball? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 just to let it, you know, I'm, I'm warning y'all. This is a great question. The curveball is, but this is a follow-up. Uh, in jazz, uh, your pocket is it based on how much you know about improvisation? Then? Because then would the imp what you're saying is basically the improvisation throughout the entire tune, right? So, like, if you're coming off the last phrase, it's really pocket is based in in that situation as a conversation between the musicians at the time musically. Always a conversation. Is that a same thing in gospel music? This it ain't the curveball. It should be. Because Ooh. music is, it, it should be, because music is always a conversation first. Well, here's my curveball. <laughs> it, like, it should be. It should, it should be. be. But majority of the time, gospel music has turned into focusing on the singer. The only person out of pocket <laughs> every time is the singer. I mean, listen, we're not going to, Brian Kahn, we're not talking about you, brother. We, we, the, <laughs> Kim, 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 Brian Kahn. Kim Burrell, we ain't talking about you. Um, don't get in your flesh or your feelings. Bless God. Um, <laughs> But you're right. Yeah. You're right. You ready for this curveball? Yeah. After you take back that apology. No, 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 no. As a keyboard player, I don't like most singers. So, so I got a curveball for keyboard I, I, players, I, I, but go ahead. Well, well you can wait. Until go ahead. I'm going to wait. Until it's your turn to host. I'm going to wait. <laughs> uh, um, I'm gonna wait. Since we're going to have another one. Every, uh, all right. All right. So 
Here's my curveball then. Mm -hmm. What ain't pocket? Ho! Oh! What ain't pocket? What is not pocket? That is a funny one. It's a curveball. <laughs> <laughs> what is not pocket? What I would say, what would you say is not pocket? Because I don't. Yeah, that's a good way to throw it back on me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> It's a very hard question, right? Yes. I would say uh, it has an easy answer. What's not pocket, in my opinion, is a drummer trying to do something they never practiced. A musician trying to, like at the gig, literally trying to do something he don't know how to do. Even a piano player. Um, yep. What's, what's, and that's where we go out of pocket. Like, what's out of pocket is you up in here posing as something just to get the gig. Your, your mouth game, Pauls, got you the gig. <laughs> and, and you you playing uh, like, 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 okay, I had a situation. I'm not going to say no names. Um, but we was playing a gig. I was main keys. He was on organ. I told him what song we doing. In the form of a question, I was like, hey, man, you know such and such song? He like, yeah, what key? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you literally just lied. You just lied to me in one sentence. Yeah. So it, it's stuff like that. I think that's my answer for what's out of pocket. Some a musician literally on the day of the gig doing something they know they don't know how to do. I would agree. And even to piggyback on that, like what you're saying, something where you're not practicing, if your timing ain't right no matter what, and it's going like this, you definitely out of pocket. Yeah, I'll add to that. <laughs> If uh, you don't know how to tune your kit, you don't know what. Wait, wait. So now we get into the sound of the. the, the, the I feel That's like about the part of pocket. We get into the sound of your instrument. You got drummers that want to do all these chops, don't even know how to make their instrument sound good. See, I got to pet people with bass that's, players because that's that's bass another. players don't even know how to EQ <laughs> their yeah. bass. Yeah. Yo. Yeah, that's another that's another beast in itself. But yes, it is definitely a true thing. If your drums ain't sounding right, definitely ain't. You got drummers that claim they pocket drummers and don't know how to use the rim. It's definitely a sweet spot to the rim. What is this okay, now talk to somebody that don't play drums. Uh cross stick. Cross it still didn't help me. Um, <laughs> the, the click when you snap the snare. You talking about the, the side, side stick. Okay, yeah, okay, that's okay. That's the best way that's to side stick. Pop. And there's a sweet spot. Definitely is a sweet spot. It's a sweet spot to everything you hit on the drum set. It's, go ahead, go ahead. No, 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 go ahead, go ahead. I have nothing to say. Okay. <laughs> uh, not being, you said not, how, how to not be in the pocket. What's out of pocket? A drummer who lacks dynamics. That definitely would fit. That doesn't know pocket. when to use ghost notes. Definitely. You know, it's crazy. And I, I, I fell victim to this. Learning how to mix taught me more about pocket. Because I would play. You're walking in deep water right now, man. I would literally <laughs> play when I play those, those drum covers. Now I understand because of where I want the reverb and how I want it to sound. All right changes how I play. Yeah. I noticed I did, a, uh, I did a cover, and I realized, like, the mics picked up. Everything. I left the hi-hat open just a little bit too long, and it destroyed the whole groove. That's a good, that's a, that's a good uh, insight and a good point. We need to dive deeper into that. I was um, going to piggyback on it. Go too. ahead. Go ahead, Larry. Nah. So, uh, and, and it's. <laughs> I ain't going to say nah. And then nah, go ahead nah, and do, I, nah, don't worry about that. Is that, that. a Cali thing? Yeah, <laughs> it's something I do. <laughs> nah. But uh, recording yourself will let you know no matter what. If you are in the pocket or you are out of the pocket, no matter what everybody says. If you record yourself and you start hearing stuff and you cringe, it lets you know right there. So, it's definitely the way to go. So would you consider yourselves uh, a session drummer that can play live or a live drummer that can play sessions? Good at devil's advocate, I see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying oh, because, really good at because if we go back in history, I, mm -hmm. I forgot the name of the band, but there was literally one band recording for every um, R&B singer back in the day. Right. Uh, 
it, it was it was they was on the road with different musicians, but they only trusted one band, one band. to record the music. Uh, even the Beatles. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, 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 I'm listening. Yeah, even even the the Beatles. I mean, there were multiple organists, but then they had to take Billy Preston because that was the one take wonder right there. Um, so I mean, without the use of cocaine, <laughs> uh, Mars was not getting that. Re- when we go red, meaning record, they was not. They was wasting film. They was wasting mm-hmm. tape. Are you a tape waster? That's my question. Is that an out of pocket person? Should a drummer be able to do both? That's a better question. Sessions and live? Yeah. Yes, they should be able to do both, but it goes back to what I was saying. If you don't record yourself and then learn, like learning how to record and how to be a session drummer is dope. And it's what you need. Like you can be a live drummer and you gonna figure out like how great you are even if you're a live drummer and you don't record yourself. Cause you definitely gonna keep doing those takes. And you're definitely gonna keep doing them, but the more you, the more you practice it, like people think, recording is just I'm gonna I'm gonna get on here and I'm gonna record for the for the two, and I'm gonna be good. Like nah, it's, it's a it's a practice thing that you gotta get better at. You might you might fumble, you might be dope at playing live, but when you hit record, it sounds different when you listen back to it, and that's a humbling experience. I'll pick you back on that. So, you got one take playing live. It's, it's interesting if you, like, you, I, I challenge yourself to, like, have to deal with playing a whole, like, a whole recording, whole session, and you realize mm, you, 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 you miss something over and over and over again. For example, if you're doing a drum cover and you got these lights over and over <laughs> and over, stop. You got to do your hair again. You got to get that sweat you off. You got to wipe the sweat off. Over and over. And over, I forgot to smile. I forgot to look energized to expi- inspire people that's watching. Got to do this over. While uh, I just missed that last hit. You, <laughs> By the you, final you've been take, thinking you know. all that through your Instagram post. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, no, crazily, like, yo, and the funny thing that you said, you like, you got to smile. Like, the, the one when you finally get it, you'll look at it and be like, bro, I was frowning like I was mad the entire time. You be locked in, but you like, dang, bro. Hey, you know what's even worse? <laughs> and you probably can attest to this. You know what's even worse? When you're playing a drum cover, you're getting ready for it. Let me warm up and just run through it. You didn't record that. That was your best take. Oh, you sweet. You sweet. It goes down here from there. Arms cramp up, everything. You get overheated. Hit that re- you hit that record button, it's like you hit trash. So is that the life of a professional drummer? That most of these people... Uh, want to be a professional drummer uh, at the end of the day, is this what it takes or is this just the icing on the cake? Or is this just like the beginning, the necessities? Take your time. I know I'm very good at these questions. So you're saying it's recording what it takes? What goes into it, yeah. Because essentially, if you play in that church nowadays, every Sunday is going red because it's live stream. Yes. To be honest, it, it, it definitely is. Um, and it goes between the both worlds. Uh, recording, live, playing live, and uh, doing it in your basement or in your home, wherever you do it. Some people do it, whatever. Uh, but you're still practicing it. And more than you know it, you practicing how to record. Uh, and that's what's wrong with a lot of these live streams. They ain't putting in them hours. And when you hit record, <laughs> uh, and I'm trying to be the, the nicest I possibly we can. We out of pocket, right? But uh, <laughs> no, nah, for, for real. We when got you, editors. When you put when you push record, uh, it goes all the way down to the, you know from the drummer to the singer to the bass player. Everybody, uh, if everybody ain't locked, that live stream gonna show it. Uh, if them singers is off, which happens mostly that live stream is going to show it. If uh, someone don't know the words, somehow the camera hits that one person every time. They do. <laughs> they do. Every time. Uh, church laughs, church funny. Man. Um, uh, oh, they making They, they, making, they careers making the reels. Off of, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I, I'm here for that, though. Uh, oh, they I, definitely I, great. I, I love listen, them. I, I've known people. Never mind. 
Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Hey, as Cut long as it out. ain't me, I'll be good. Cut that out. But well, then, since we all the way out of pocket, and we're talking about church drumming right now at the moment, uh, there's a, and I can weigh in on this too because it's more of a church musician type thing if you want to call yourself that. There is a flux, a wave of a conversation that um, you shouldn't get paid to play at, at church. Like, it shouldn't be like a, um, you, you can't, you're not supposed to be pimping the church out the money. Uh, I got a lot to say about man. that. Man. That's, you see, that's, that's why I'm, t- those that's why I asked the question. That's on my for you page. Those are day. fighting words. I, I've been noticing <laughs> it too. Yeah, I've been seeing it. They are fighting words. No, those, um, yeah. Cause some say, you know, they don't do it for a check and, and, and um, I'm going to put my opinion out there real quick and I'll let you guys. But I, you know, the funny thing about it is most of the people that I've been seeing, and there's no shot to them, but saying, I don't play at church for a check. I'm not going to pimp the church out of a check. They're young without responsibilities. Right. Uh, they, they don't, I mean, um, Comcast, We Energies, mm-hmm. AT&T, gas, mm-hmm. car payments, mortgage, um, Okay, let's put it this way. No ministry thrives without music. If you don't have a good praise and worship team, this is just real talk. You you just, your church is doomed to be your family. It definitely and, is. With iPad cameras, and you, yep. you, you're you going to do the ministry of the back room and not the world. Um, the algorithm ain't even going to put that out unless there's something funny going on. Like, the only way. Um, and you embarrassing yourself. 100%. So, I mean, you, we know that music plays a big part on membership in churches. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to open up the floor. Should a musician be getting paid to play at church? Larry? <laughs> yeah, it's best to call because I'm like, oh, I, I, I might have to wait my turn. Uh, it's a lot to say on that, but the, the best answer is just like you said. Comcast, you know, you got your, your your light bill, your gas bill. You start doing all that stuff. Those is all businesses. The churches is paying all those things because those are businesses. When when tax season come at the end of the year, the church is a nonprofit. So to stay nonprofit, they doing business. You shouldn't stop doing business when it comes to your people. That's your community. That's a good point. And and the successful churches do good business with their community. The unsuccessful churches don't do good business oh, yeah. with their community. They don't know the mayor's last names. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's to your point, devil's advocate, one more time. Oh. Uh, you don't have a job? Because no. that's what they that's what they say. They say. They, no, you, you, you piggyback you, off this one. Well, go ahead, uh, Mr. It, two it, hash browns. Man, <laughs> it, 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 <laughs> and the saddest thing, that's a horrible question to ask. It's like it's not your business if I have a job or not. Talk if that, I'm talk doing then. if I'm doing a service for you, that's all you need to worry about. Do the service. It's just like when they go and do service. And and I mean, I say it. Pastors be the main ones. Like, they be the main ones. Oh, I don't pay. Well, you get paid when you do your service. So be a good businessman, steward, whatever you want to say. We ain't going to get into that because, yeah, you start throwing them, them scriptures right back at them. They act like, whoa, yeah, I read my Bible just like you do. <laughs> Don't think I'm no fool. But when I start throwing it back at you, you looking at me like, yeah, just because I don't, just because we look a certain way don't mean we don't know our word. That's one thing. That's a word in and of itself. Man. <laughs> and then it's just like, yo, you got to be a good steward, man. You stewarding these people, you got to be good with them. You yeah. got to build that relationship, and you shouldn't, you shouldn't try to get over on them. Yeah, you're right. This Let, me say this. Let, me down the seat. Let me say this. Let me say this. I don't know if the camera up. caught him. Hey, hey, uh, Why are you talking? Oh, He's sitting there. Double oh. dutch me. Oh. Let me jump in. <laughs> Let me jump I've, in. I've been, Come I've, on, I've, Westbrook. I have been through it. I have been, been through it. You Hold play on, your mic okay? Let, let uh, him get this, his just mic. Just a box. Just a box. It's, it's called a transmitter. Whatever. Whatever. Let me play devil's advocate for a second. Man. Um, cause you're right. It do be it, it be the pastors that that they 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 put that narrative out there most of the time. Most of the time, in my experience, when you know, I mean, you, the ones I've worked with, mm-hmm. they pretty much just quoting the scripture with the mic in their hand. 
I can have that audio do that on the Bible app. Man. And be good at and home. You getting paid okay. to do something I can do at home. At home. <laughs> while and I'm actually doing something that's And love helping. my members. I love every last one of my members at home. Oh. Let me shut up. Go ahead, man. That man said he could just download the, the story on the Bible app and press play. There's schools like Berkeley School of Music, Musicians mm. Institute, people getting degrees and not getting oh, paid. Oh, I their hear degree. what you're saying. You saying you went the whole route, got your degree in music. You you done devoted your whole life to this. And a, actually, to be very honest, if you're on the level that we're talking about, you're most likely taking a pay cut from the church anyway to where you could actually be making outside of the church. Yeah. I hear you. Go ahead. Just continue. You're you right. You're right about that. I got something else. I, I love Take you. this pill and swallow it. <laughs> Check this out. So. This man hurt. I'm sick. Hey, hey, <laughs> he said hey. This man hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I hey, forgot who said that. You hit that button. You hit that button. That. <laughs> um, I forgot who said that. So, um, from my experience, I've I've sat in calls where I'm hearing, you know, hey, he he could play for us. Uh, can we do at least seventy five dollars a Sunday? Nah, I can only do fifty. Right? Okay. But then I do a YouTube video, go viral, and in two weeks, that video made me $11,000. So. You know, and that's what it is. So, like, to be honest, I, and that's, boy, we can piggyback off this. What it, what it also is, is it's a mechanism to try to lowball us. So if we get in that mindset yeah. to try to, like, let me just go ahead. Humble yourselves. First of all, no, that's disrespectful. You don't you don't tell someone to humble themselves so you could take advantage of them. This is what the church does, and uh, and yeah. it's like yeah. yo, just like he said, he working to do his thing, his thing, and he going outside and outside the church, he's making this money. So you use humble yourself to try to lowball me, bro. No, nah. actually, you should humble yourself and understand what I'm worth. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, hey. If you want to, if you want to test it, bro, give give the worship team the reins. If they got if they got to go and they could do it, give the worship team the reins. And when they get the reins and grow your church, just make sure that you get them dudes a raise without them having to ask. I agree. Um, let's say if I had a church, right? Now, nah, now, nah. everybody go, think pastor I'm a pastor. Jerome. Everybody think I'm a pastor <laughs> and all this stuff, and I'm not. I'm not. I do preach, bless God, uh, but. I can't pass it because I don't love the people that much. Bless them. Bless and that's them. to be very honest. God's this people. boy. Yeah. God's people that's just to something. be honest. You, you, <laughs> good preachers don't make good pastors. You saw fun with Dick and Jane? That, that's hilarious. That, yeah, you just got that's indicted. Hilarious. Your no, whole no, but, stock but, dropped. But <laughs> no, but here's, if I, if I had a church, <laughs> this is what problem. I would do. Because um, everybody, they, they real loosey on this Thing. They really try to make, hold on, sorry about that, y'all. You supposed to have that off. Man. It, it's okay. Oh. It's all right. Um, but they real loosey-goosey, and I explain it, like, they really feel like if you get paid, you taking money from the church, you wrong and all this stuff. Here's how I put it. All you pastors out there, mm. uh, you might not like this, but you can hold people accountable if you're paying them what they're worth. I'm going to let that sit there. You know why you having trouble with your drummer staying saved? <laughs> You're talking to a direct person. With, 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 with all these people not coming to church and they not giving their best because you can't hold them accountable when they don't feel valued. And then at the end of the day, it's that simple. I would ask this. What is holding them accountable? That's my definition. Oh, that's Cause, a good cause, one. Because they will take that and run with it, and it turns into a level of That's a good role. one. No, so that's a good one. Uh, let's say you got your degree in law, and I hire you to a law agency because of your reputation. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to pay you this salary. But, bro, you keep losing cases. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> at some point, we're going to have to talk like, hey, man, I brought you in because you showed this. Now that, like, we giving you the money, come on. It's kind of like this. Like, 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 uh, I pay, I like, it, first of all, everything should be on the table up front. Definitely. There should be no gray areas in your expectations for Ooh, your musicians. You just killed every pastor. Or, or, so. Yeah, yeah. All your singers, your, <laughs> don't. It should be no gray area. Um, that being said, hey, bro, I know we didn't play in all twelve keys, uh, but you transposed last Sunday. Um, oh yes, oh yes. And, and I paid you because I saw you. <clears throat> I, I, I was on the assumption that you know you playing all your keys now. Now I'm not gonna dock you. But I got to hold you accountable that you advertised yourself to be this. That's the type of stuff I'm talking about with accountability. Also, I mean, I'm going to say something. You can't outlive what you play or you can't outplay what you live, right? Mm -hmm. Especially, I mean, <laughs> yep. you'd be like, let them symbols sing. It's because you like the song that we sing it. I mean, I, I, or you can't you can't play Rihanna's song on Saturday better than you played this CCM song. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Like 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 you out here play goodness of God, stick at the cow. <laughs> 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 but but last night at the where you, where you was getting your other money, you like you all like you can't right. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got a question, not a curveball. Serious question: Why are keyboard players paid more? Than the drummers and everybody in the band. Because y'all still percussion. Definitely. That is true. We are percussion. Mm -hmm. I got another curveball. Answer this one Bruh, fast. I, I, I can't got speak like 75 for all people. No, no, speak for you, because yeah. you know, I've been shortchanged because of you during gigs too. Well, okay, well, we can go back in history about that. That was uh, because we played at the Church of God in Christ Church. And they historically. Shot, they Historically, <laughs> the, uh, what that means? The, I mean, this is what they, they pay the. Y'all fingers getting tired. Um, we using every part of our body. And we drenched, Dr drenched. We don't even get water. Dehydrated. So the mothers will bring y'all water before they bring us water. Y'all also got the most <laughs> scandal. <laughs> we can talk. Y'all also no. hard to deal with. <laughs> y'all also the liability. Y'all also we, don't vacuum the stick shavings off not, the carpet of no, the that drum. Is, that's always they been. They don't buy our sticks. Hold on, I mean, hold on, hold on. <laughs> we can go both ways with that's that. A, that's another thing. I mean, thing. if we got to vacuum, at least buy our sticks. <laughs> I got you. I'll vacuum every week if you, pick, listen, you keep picking listen, up the sticks. The pastor <laughs> that allowed you gave, you, gave you a church key that allowed you to beat the heads off them piccolo snares that every church uh, only had. <laughs> the piccolo, <laughs> y'all that was an error. That was a that, man, fun time. Man, if you still got a piccolo <laughs> snare. Ain't nothing wrong with piccolos, bro. Playing CCM with a piccolo, nah, that is a viral video. That's a viral video. Oh my God. That is a point of out of pocket there, bro. Yeah, know your yeah. gear. You don't, you don't use that. Know your gear, brother. Know your gear. <laughs> you Somebody got to do that. that. That's yeah, when you had that conversation, bro. Oh. We paid you this much, and you don't even know the right stuff to bring for the right songs. That is definitely one of those conversations. Yep, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it this way. I don't know why keyboard players get paid more. I will say this. <laughs> I will say this. Um, you never get paid what you're worth. You always get paid what you negotiate. So all you guys out there that's but getting that's word chess. That, no, that's no, no, pure word all, chess. That is bull crap. Yeah, what that, that's. Want? Yeah. <laughs> so you saying I ain't worth it? No, no, because no. I, I, you no, he know, said that we didn't negotiate. Hey, oh, we, hey, we tried I, to negotiate. I've tried. Yeah, I've tried. Y'all you, still getting it? We tried this. I got, I got paid a hundred <laughs> for a gig. Asked for twenty five more. We definitely tried. I don't it. disagree with y'all. Lost the whole day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't disagree we with y'all. I feel like y'all got a valid point. I will say. Oh no! Before you do that, here's my curveball to add to that though. Mm -hmm. Why do y'all get paid more when y'all don't even learn? multiple time signatures. Y'all don't even practice your timing. You can't count me as seven, eight Ooh, right now. That's another conversation. We learned <laughs> all of this. <laughs> that is a good point. Um, Y'all really want to do this? <laughs> <laughs> it's a good one. Y'all got good valid points. 
Seven eight is not a necessity. Now, are we talking about church? Because I know. No, I'm talking about this... time. I'm, at, I'm talking about time. Yeah, you can even say church though, because I I, I want to hear what you got to say. Y'all get lowballed in church for real. There Y'all we go. do. But if we talk about music in general, mm-hmm. Quest Love is and Alan Blackstone oh, are the highest paid right now. That's a bass player and a drummer. You are right about that. But now, now I ain't telling you to leave yo, God. No, no, no. <laughs> I ain't you no, to leave so God. what you're saying is that Oh, and Quest Love just all he do every night on Jimmy Fallon, put a ka. I got a curve. That's for that. all he do. I got a curve for that. I, I got mean, a curve. And I, I get what you're saying. But sadly, the church hasn't picked up on that. And I, I, I just had a conversation with my own and had to tell her, like, yo, two of the highest people paid is a bass player and a drummer, referring to the both of them. Yeah. And her thing was, oh. So my thing is, <laughs> <laughs> if we can go on record, could you say this and let the churches, like, this is something that the churches need to know. Because they definitely still going to y'all he can't as, do it. as the MD. He, he, and that, that was my second thing. So you brought up a good right? point. So, so I, let's, let's put it this way. I played for a church where I was not the highest paid. And I wasn't the MD. It was, a, it was a pretty big church. And the MD was a bass player and a drummer. And he was making way more. Yeah, yeah. And, and when he called me. Not nah, not every church. Listen, the majority of that the church of that didn't pay me. No, they don't play with me. <laughs> <laughs> you can't use them. They still owe me money. Disqualified. My bad. Disqualified. We'll cut that out. Yeah. What? <laughs> Disqualified. It definitely is though. It's the, they owe, they do owe me money. Um, but yeah, that. Mm-mm. They don't know what church. <laughs> <laughs> they might put two and two together. The church might see this, you know. But I hope they do. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. It it, <laughs> it is a discrepancy, though. I ain't gonna hold you. It is. But I will say this. It's a lot of drummers <laughs> that swear they good <laughs> and they not. I can't speak. <laughs> 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 if you look at the percentage, if you look at if you look at now, mm. it's 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 guitar, it's drums, mm. keyboard is down here. Like when you look at the people that want to be, everybody want to be a guitar player or a drummer. People that want to do keys normally are pretty good. They transpose, but they're pretty good. So you saying, so you saying that you should get paid more because you're the minority of the favorite instrument? I would say he's just saying that them, them, them bad apples are spoiling yeah. our bunch, and I get that part. That's they, what I was saying. But Josh, you pay, almost, he said it with so much confidence. I no, that, they will pay it. little Bobby to be off time and out of pocket that $50. And they think will. that you're supposed to pay. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Because I put it to you this way, it's a lot of novice drummers that will jump on what's offered to you, which is disrespectful to you. That low balling gang? Yeah, that's a whole bad conversation. Uh, now you hear what I'm no, saying? You hear what I'm saying? That, that low balling is you. Because it's not a lot of people in the drum community that are boycott. That's the problem. That's the problem in the musicianship. The musician. Uh, well, I'm one of period. them. <laughs> Put that out there. <laughs> I'm probably the only one. But Man. yeah. You know, I, I, I'll set up a petition or something. I'll help support the, the fund. Definitely will boycott. Man. So, I mean, and that's the thing. I told I told the musicians in my city one time. Like, yo, if y'all if y'all complaining about the cost and you complaining about the conditions, like, let's not all go on Sunday. Like, seriously. Like, if y'all, if y'all complaining that much, let's be about it, and none of us go. Don't tell them why we ain't going. Don't say we ain't going. Just don't go. Let me say something real quick. It's a great idea. It pro- definitely pro- is. Problem is. <laughs> we boycott. They got the app the next day. But, uh, you you right you right, sadly. What's the solution? In you take eye. a pay cut. <laughs> 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 
Yes. <laughs> <Get> your, <laughs> it doesn't make sense. You get paid the most, and you, I mean, all of y'all. Get your hand out my pocket, brother. Y'all get the B3. We Definitely. get the $50 drum set That's in the out of pocket. We don't get the... That's out of pocket. Yeah, y'all y'all B3 get service, too, bro. We don't even get new heads. First of all, <laughs> Come I on. didn't play it at a number of churches where the B3s was not serviced. True, but you still going to get a service before we get heads. Because we Pause. didn't... Pause. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, that was a perfect moment, too. Because essentially, that's the same thing, to be honest. Bless God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That was a good moment. Oh. Let's shift, because y'all right about that, but let's shift. There's an ep- epidemic going on. And I, mean, I ain't going to lie. As a musician that does sound at church, too, I find it. I'm not a purist. Uh, I know some sound men that are drummers that are purists that want to hear that real drum. But there are some, there's an epidemic now where churches are replacing their real drums. With triggers? Not with just triggers, but with whole electric drum sets now. Rolling V drums. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just getting a left and a right <laughs> into the, into the, and uh, save a lot of time, a lot of work. How y'all feel about? Electric drums instead of uh, for live events, like. Electric drums. Woo. I mean, to be honest, I'm definitely biased with electric drums as a whole. But electric drums honestly made me some money on the kid. So it's, it's a... It's a, <laughs> it's, it's a catch-22. Like, dang, I, I mean, I do... I'm not going to lie, I do not like electric drums. Hybrid drums, I'm all for. A full electric kit, throw it away. Yeah, it would be better to do hybrid. Just to have a little bit of everything, but just I okay. ain't gonna say no names. Well, speaking <laughs> about gigs, let's shift into this one then. Um, what was the worst gear-wise gig you've ever performed? Situation, like you came in there, it was a snare and a hi-hat, no kick drum. Teresa, that's sad. Uh, <laughs> Um, man. And it's, how did you get through the gig? We'll start with you, Larry. Josh thinking. The the funniest thing is it's a recent one for me. Like, you got these backline companies, the smaller, smaller cities, excuse me. You got all these backline companies that starting out. Uh, and they're, they're pitching themselves like, yeah, we got gear. Um, and they don't have gear. They have the, the lowest the ba- brand of drums. Popular wood. They bring in poplar wood as a professional kit and renting it out at a professional price. <laughs> and you get there and you just look at the set and be like, this is what I'm working with. So, and I mean, and sadly, I learned some tricks. Me and Gav Tape are best friends. Um, <laughs> and uh, one dude literally was like, man, you got the set sounding great. And I'm like, yeah, man, you know. The gap tape, and I went a little point Dexter with it. I was like, the gap tape works with the drum heads if you understand it. I was like, if you know what you're doing with the gap tape, you can get it to sound like a two ply, which then gives your drums a little life when you need it. And he was like, oh okay. I'm like, yeah, but these drums should be here. <laughs> <laughs> Since they here, we gonna have to figure this out. Okay, you might have to do a video on gap tape on, on, on that because so try to get sponsored. That's, that's I mean, a good one. That's a listen that's now. Is, so gaff tape, what's, it, it essentially does what gels would do? It does what gels would do, but a little better. Okay, you've been playing drums with life support. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Come on, Josh. Mr. Drum Class. Do you have gigs or lessons? <laughs> have gigs. Gigs, Most of them, I was there, yeah, so I'm gonna let them know if you lie. <laughs> well, I, I'll curve ball to you. When did I have a decent kid in these gigs? Dang, <laughs> hey, oh, hey, I'll so, wait. I'll, that's a good one, and that says it all. It they definitely need to update, does. update game. Jesus, invest in some gear. But I, the question was the worst. What was the worst? Can't say no names. It was a revival. 
Hey, praise, he want to say them names. Please, praise, we need, we he, need he, violence. He, he, right? he, he want to say them names. <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> he said it was, it was 1895, <laughs> 7 o'clock, it was a revival. Uh, we was waiting on God. He didn't get there yet. We was outside. <laughs> but, uh, the temperature was. What song was it? That, that <laughs> Praise break. <laughs> yep. It wasn't a pick of love. <laughs> praise break. No. Hey, the exact moment to a snare. snare was fine. <laughs> so the only thing on the drum set good was the snare. Yeah, cause was the, this a Chris Dave drum set? <laughs> no, nah, the times were terrible, so I, I didn't even touch those. Mm. And uh, you know, obviously the kick drum went out. We had duct tape, went right through it. <laughs> I ain't never hit the cymbals that long. I'm glad that was a thing now to take the kick oh, yeah, out. Yeah, you can definitely get away with it. So yeah. It was close to come. Yeah. Dang, I might've gave him up, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Help it though. <laughs> Them symbols is Kojic, bro. Yeah, it was definitely a twenty dollar kit. Yeah. yeah. Well, before we get out of here, because I don't know if we're getting out of here, but before we get out of here, uh, what changes did you make to your social media presence that actually helped you grow your following the way you have? Which which uh, which platform? Because it's actually different for both. See, that's a good one. That's a gym, y'all. Definitely. That's a gym. That's why you shouldn't leave every church. Hey, Amen. They're not all the same. <laughs> uh, go ahead uh, with IG, Instagram. IG is very simple. <laughs> IG, upload reels. Uh, no, what did you do differently? I uploaded reels. Okay, finish talking. <laughs> <laughs> See, you, you interrupted me, brother. Yeah. <laughs> Look, he get a little smart right now. <laughs> so, yeah, I didn't believe in reels at all. Like, I didn't, I ignored it. I, honestly, because I didn't know how to even do it. I didn't know it was that simple. So, I was at 30K for a year because I was ignorant to reels. <laughs> <laughs> the, the second I did reels, that growth just took off. I ain't did a regular post since, because yeah, it's yeah. Change, change, going to reels changed me for Instagram. <clears throat> Brother Larry. Oh man, that the saddest <laughs> thing. <laughs> and I'm sitting here thinking too, like I'm listening and oh. thinking at the same time. Uh, Man, uh, mine was the older algorithm, which everyone misses. But uh, the hashtag al algorithm was the one. Yeah, I failed at that one. You're saying? Oh, really? I failed at that Man, one. Man, that's, yep. that's when mine really grew. And it was like, and definitely the, the, niche, the niche thing, however they say it. But it was a little bit of both of those things. But then again, I'm a fan. I'm a lover and a hater at the same time of the social. So I fight with it daily. So, mm. yeah. Me too. TikTok. So TikTok actually still rocks with the hashtag uh, thing. And I even own TikTok. Yeah, and TikTok. Yeah, okay. So uh, advice for any drummer, or one thing is drums and church content are going crazy right now. True. Um, everybody want to be a drummer, and everybody trying to find God. Man. Um, Again. <laughs> Man, that's why these churches should make sure that live stream is right, because they, they, they looking for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, that's a that's a rough live stream. <laughs> you got <laughs> never mind. Got to you know have a pay cut for the organist to afford some equipment. Everybody has got to invest in the live <laughs> stream, <laughs> not so much in the one that can't play in four or four. But that's a good one. I never called a drummer to play a funeral. Mm. Um, don't call me either, because I'm done playing at funerals. Uh, that's, a, that's a good conversation to have. Uh, yeah, yeah. The band's not responsible for your grief. Amen. Never. Yeah. We're not. Yeah. Uh, so that, that's good. You keep doing that. I'm sorry. And what is this, the Trigger Jobs podcast? We in the guess pocket. Guess we talk about party. it. You want to talk about it? I, I guess. We, we can end on something bad. <laughs> <laughs> we can just say it. Alrighty. Hot. 
What song did she sing again? She butchered it. She, mm. It was this, so funerals, singers always butcher the same song at funerals. Uh, it's either I won't complain, it's either safe in his arms, it's either um, I should wear a crown. That's what she did. Yeah, that's, that's the one. Right. It's always going to be those one. three. His eyes on the sparrow, every R&B singer that used to love God sings that at funerals. Definitely. Um, even, <laughs> <laughs> it's it's going to be one of them three. But she sung I Should Wear a Crown. She sung I Should Wear a Crown. Yeah. And that's one you shouldn't What's the pocket for I Should Wear a Crown? Well, so let's before we do this, I sure wear a crown is really a jazz tune yeah, yeah. with gospel words. Played right. So a lot of it's, people don't play nice. that song right. It's that really a sense. jazz song. Um uh but yeah, this woman wasn't a jazz singer. Nor nor a gospel singer. Mm. Nor a singer. So there's nothing that I can do. I didn't even know if she knew the family. They still got the mic. There's nothing that I can do. <laughs> she got the Somehow mic too. got the mic. There's literally nothing that I can do As a drunk. to help that singer Man. stay on key. She's ignoring my timing. Nothing, right? So she sits down like she was supposed to. Everybody's full of extra grief. When she's done. That man said extra so grief. So somebody get up. They doing their remarks. He get up immediately. The music's trash. Musicians, y'all need to turn up. Drummer. <laughs> like, like uh, call me yeah. out twice. That's, yeah. You know, that's a normal thing. You know, drummers get the slack for a lot. Hey, and but we get a pay cut. We back to that. How many followers you got? From you. playing drums. Bless True. God. Bless him. You got uh, you got know when to hold and when to fold. I'm not taking. The I pay can't cut. fold change. There's that's a, what I get. Y'all, there's a reason why. <laughs> <laughs> he said that's what I get. And he said they give me the change out of the plate. You can't fold change. <laughs> they give me the change out of the plate. Oh, in an envelope. Oh, bro. well, you see why we don't play at the same church? Because I'm not pay, I'm not taking. I had to file cut. taxes. I'm not I taking a pay cut for him <laughs> at all. First of all, he's too much to deal with. <laughs> not every song got to be subdivided. Mm. How I don't about do that? what? Talking about timing. Nah, I don't. I play a 4-4. Four, four. He think it's 6-8. That's no. why I said they got to learn time. Definitely. Most of worship songs are in 6-8. That's an odd time. Definitely is. And songs shouldn't all be in Lord Jesus, that's a whole nother conversation. Wait, that's a whole nother conversation. Yeah, that's an episode two. Every, everybody episode two we're going to talk about <laughs> is CCM of God. Amen. Oh, wow. That's what we're going to talk about. Mm. Well, we um, can't talk about that one. That's the a good one. CCM is, here we go, here's the title. Is CCM the standard while we bury gospel music? Uh, I think that's what's happening, and it shouldn't. Ooh. Mm. Bet you you can't have an instrumental a CCM instrumental and know where you at in the song. You can't, not without the melody. Mm. You right. And them singers never know where them where their place is yeah, in them CCM to... songs. They <laughs> don't know the words and they don't know where they at. We're going to have to get some Cause singers. you playing the same, you just playing that one chord. You just laying on that chord the whole time. <laughs> 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 same, the same pad. I hate pads. Lord Jesus, why does CCM have so many pads? <laughs> See, pocket applies to everybody. I that's mean, that'd be their pocket at CCM. Point. That's, 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 that's yeah, their pocket. Our, our and they, and they love it. Let's go to the four. <laughs> go to the six. Go to the five. We might hit the one or go back to the four, depending on who want to cry. It's the service. <laughs> yeah. They love it. Yeah. All right, so before we get out of here, listen, uh, Larry, Josh, let the people know where they can, they can find you. Ooh. So, Larry. He's not on TikTok. Oh, definitely not. Probably. Not on TikTok. He on TikTok now, man. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, we're going to work on that TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to work on that social media. Definitely on uh, yep, yep. Instagram and YouTube. Director Matt. It's a new thing, a new journey. It's not just drumming. It's drumming and DJ. So, you can find me on both of those platforms. Do not find me on Facebook at all. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> Y'all, he's he not on Facebook because he's running from this lady named uh, Hattie Mae. 
Hey, you know what? There, there do be those situations, but <laughs> It do be those situations, bro. It do be those. It definitely be those situations. The older situation. Man. Oh, my goodness. Where they can find you. Oh, you going last? I hey, mean, listen. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey. No, no. Let's go last. Cause I want to hear what he got to say. Right, right, he, right. Oh, he going to pump it up. Like, this listen, the, you, listen, that's the YouTuber yeah, guy. Yeah, let him know. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to see how he yeah, do I'm it. Like, it's going to be great. I'm beat this in ending. class. Beat this ending. Listen, <laughs> y'all. Uh, oh, we still here? Where we at? You don't even know the camera. This the one right here? Listen, listen, y'all can follow me at uh, J-A-Y-S-O-N underscore J-D-C. Um, you'll see me in a, a picture with my face. Um, and uh, if you want to be inspired, laugh, or listen to some good music, that's the place to be. Uh, and also, it'll be in the description of this YouTube video. It'll be in the comment section. And, uh, yeah. Josh? He said, with my face, I'm, I'm hurt. Oh, yeah, yeah. He said, you can find me. I'm, I'm, yeah. Wait, no, no. He said with my face. Wait a minute. I call it. I call it. I don't have face. none of the. Wait a minute. I don't have the Wolverine chops. <laughs> I, don't I don't look like an X-Man. So. Man. <laughs> Boom. You can follow me. What you, you clapping can... for? You got a mic on. You got a you lapel know mic. Hey, that's the, the intro. <laughs> he ain't in YouTube page right now. I get it, bro. You, hey, you recording that YouTube? Hey, real quick. hey, if we're going to be honest, I hate his, all of his YouTube endings. I hate every single one you of them. You seen uh, 1,000 of my videos? No. Because he hates your ending. He just said it. You know, I got him blocked. <laughs> I got him blocked on TikTok. He went live and tried to roast me, and they blocked him for a month. That's, That's TikTok, bro, TikTok saying is, respect my name. Hey. No, TikTok is, TikTok <laughs> said, is nah. controlling. He said no. Nah. You, uh, you can't do nothing but twerk on TikTok. Bruh. We cutting that out. Go ahead. Oh, Go ahead and end this out, Josh. So yeah, you can find you can find me, <laughs> Joshua Crawford on Google. You'll see everything popping up. He said Google. <laughs> <laughs> I knew he was about what? the big game. Hey, no, I knew he was about the big game. Oh, no, I, I, just did, I did a rookie mistake. Camera there. <laughs> yeah. So you can find me shot. on Google, Joshua Crawford. My TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook will pop up. And, uh, yeah, make sure you support them. Uh, all their links will be down in the description box below. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell notification. And make sure that you click all notifications or you will miss some of our uploads. When we finally right? post. <laughs> <laughs> when we actually post. <laughs> <laughs> we done. Yeah, that's, that's awesome.